The Nuclear Fuel Cycle Royal Commission was established in March 2015 to undertake an independent and comprehensive investigation into South Australia's potential engagement in the nuclear fuel cycle. In May 2016, the Royal Commission's report was delivered to government, outlining a series of findings and recommendations. The nuclear fuel cycle involves a series of processes to generate electricity from uranium and manage waste from nuclear reactors. Stage 1 exploration, extraction and mining of uranium. Stage two, further processing and manufacture, conversion, enrichment and fuel fabrication. Stage three, electricity generation, power plant. Stage four, management, storage and disposal of radioactive and nuclear waste. For each stage of the nuclear fuel cycle, the Royal Commission made findings and recommendations. In the first stage of exploration, extraction and mining of uranium, the Commission found existing regulatory frameworks adequately addressed risks and expansion of uranium mining in South Australia would provide modest additional economic benefit to the state. The Royal Commission recommended simplify state and federal mining regulatory processes, improve the integration and availability of geophysical data and survey more of the state, encourage and support industry investment in the exploration of new locations and ensure that decommissioning and remediation costs for radioactive ore mining projects are guaranteed in advance. In the further processing and manufacture stage, the Commission found environmental and safety risks are manageable and activity in this area is not commercially viable in the next 10 years as the market is oversupplied. The Royal Commission recommended working with the Australian Government to remove federal laws that currently prohibit further processing activities and promoting and actively supporting the increased use of the cyclotron at the South Australia Health and Medical Research Institute. In the electricity generation stage, the Royal Commission found safety considerations do not rule out the potential for nuclear power as an energy option for South Australia. Nuclear power should be considered as a future low-carbon energy source to contribute to national greenhouse gas emission targets and nuclear power is not viable in South Australia under current Australian energy market structure policies. The Royal Commission recommended working with the Australian Government to remove federal laws that ban the development of nuclear reactors for electricity generation, monitor new reactor designs and promote development of a national energy policy to deliver low-carbon, reliable and low-cost electricity systems based on the best energy generation mix, which includes nuclear. In the final stage of management, storage and disposal of radioactive and nuclear waste, the Commission's findings stated, South Australia has attributes and capabilities to safely undertake international waste disposal. There is potential for major intergenerational economic benefits for the South Australian community. Broad social consent and specific community consent must be obtained prior to any nuclear activity in South Australia. There is an opportunity for South Australia to learn from existing international experience in geological waste disposal programs. And if a geological disposal facility were established in South Australia, Economic analysis suggests that fuel leasing could provide additional economic benefits to the state. The Royal Commission's recommendations in this stage are pursuing a purpose-built waste storage and disposal facility, including consideration of social and community consent, and further amending the South Australian law to support more detailed discussion and analysis of the opportunity to establish such facilities in South Australia. A statewide consultation is now underway to discuss the Royal Commission's recommendations with the South Australian community. Rather than the government deciding what should be discussed, a citizen's jury of 50 randomly selected South Australians spent four days hearing from the experts and examining the Royal Commission report. They identified four key themes they believe the community should discuss. Safety, community consent, trust, and economics. From July to October 2016, over 100 locations across South Australia will be visited where people can get to know nuclear and contribute to this important discussion about our state's future. 
Community feedback will be collated and provided to a second, larger citizens' jury, 350, to consider as part of their deliberations in October and November. Considerations from the second citizens' jury will be provided to the Premier in a report, a key input into the government's decision-making process. In November 2016, the government will review all responses from the community consultation process and the Royal Commission report in deciding the next steps for South Australia's involvement in the nuclear fuel cycle. Visit nuclear.sa.gov.au to find out more.